So what are we going to learn in this course? First, you will learn to execute block mesh and snappy hex mesh. Then, we are going to simulate laminar flow in pipe using the IcoFoam solver. The second case is turbulent flow in pipe using simple foam. And the last and the third case is turbulent flow over a car using simple foam. So what can you expect the flow of this course to be? So first, you will be able to make simple geometries in Salome. You will be able to import CAD files in Salome and modify them. You will be able to export .stl files from Salome to OpenFoam. You will learn about OpenFoam case structure. You will learn to use the most famous snappy hex mesh for any geometry to solve internal or external flow problem. You will learn to set up the initial boundary conditions in OpenFoam case directory. You will learn to post-process the results in form of contours and vectors along with simulation animation videos. We will do this in Paraview. You will be able to use snappy hex mesh and solve any similar internal or external flow problem on your own after completing this entire course. That means you are going to get ready to solve your own CFD problems once you are done with this course. These are the system specifications that have been used to solve the cases. Windows 10 has been used with i5 processor and 8 GB RAM. These are the main softwares that we are going to require in order to complete this course. Salome 8.3.0 is a pre-processing software where we can prepare our geometry and mesh it. The solving softwares are Ubuntu and OpenFoam. OpenFoam is installed inside Ubuntu 16.04 and I am using OpenFoam version 1806. And finally, Paraview 5.5.2 has been used to post-process the results. So Salome is pre-processing software, OpenFoam is the solving software and Paraview is the post-processing software and all are open source free softwares. So let's jump right into the first case that we are going to solve using OpenFoam.